Okay, so today I'm going to take you through the perfect family kitchen. Now here, I've been here about a year now, we're a little short on space, so I hired a company to come in and help me get this place organized. And frankly, it's life changing. So, I try to clear as much of the countertops as possible. Obviously, we eat, we live, I want to live in this house. I have three children, it can't look like a show house all of the time. Look at this, people. Look. This, it's really saves plate space. Everything's labeled, coffee, you know, this is the only one that wasn't, vitamins, all my morning drinks, extras. Look at down here. You can tell I don't use a coffee. The kitchen very much. In here, everything's perfectly laid out. We can see everything. It's so much easier. I used to just, I didn't even know the importance of this until I had it because I used to just pile everything in here. And honestly, I used to bulk buy so much stuff and it would just sit in my cupboards and I couldn't really see what I had and I just kept buying it all again. And I understand now. Now I really know what I have. I see what I have. I buy smaller shops, maybe a little more often, but it's so much more economical and so much more useful. I love it. Canned goods. Everything has its place. Everything. Just look at this. It makes cooking so easy because it's all just there for me. You know, obviously in a family home, you have a lot of things. And I try to be really ruthless with getting rid of things. Um, and everything sort of has a place now. And um, then I took pictures of what she did so that the housekeepers can follow that. Um, obviously I do know that not everyone has housekeepers, but once you've done it, um, you, it's so satisfying. I can't tell you. So, and everything around me are the things I immediately use and need. We even did my inside my fridge, um, which I never thought my fridge could look like this. Now, mind you, we're a few weeks on, and this is not how she left it, but it's, you know, it's still good. My freezer, everything is sort of, has its place again. Before, and in here, even in here, we use all these little, buckets and they just means you can keep so much more in the fridge weirdly um, we're all addicted to these chocolate mousses by the way they're like two ingredients dark chocolate and egg whites that's it dark chocolate and egg whites that's it on a pinch of salt um, everything is divided and kept and again I think it's really being able to see everything like this means that we've really cut down on shopping. I really, really, really try and use everything in the fridge before it, you know, perishes. Now, come with me and you can see even the laundry room. Okay, down here. So this is the staff kitchen. And even this is beautifully kept for them. This is all our stuff. I love these little trolleys because they you just wheel them in when you need them and then wheel them back out again. Here, just all my collagen powders and just things that we use all the time. Um, masks, essentials medicines just really really easy to get to and then okay the laundry room is never Ooh. but like literally this is as good as it gets you should have seen it before floor cleaners dog care wine wine fridge everything has its place look around here brushes tissues and again instead of just bulk buying all the time we can really see what we have now and what's needed and it just 
helps. I try and keep two of everything. You know, we're a big household, but um, that really is it. I hope you've liked my kitchen. And if I can tell you anything, oh, look at this, there's more here actually. Look. Life changing. You can do it, you can keep it up. If everybody gets involved, you all take your time, label your things. It's actually quite fun and everybody likes to see it this way. And look, okay, it's not perfect as I said because we're a large family and it's never gonna be perfect and you have to be okay with that. But it's so much better and it actually makes me so happy to be in this room. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of my not so perfect, perfect kitchen. Bye. The other thing I really like in a kitchen is just, you know, to fill these jars. They're just really colorful. You can do them with Oreo cookies. I've seen them on the Kardashians. They do them with biscuits. They do them with, you know, so many different things that you can fill them with. Um, like, I don't know, sugar sweets or um, Oreos or anything like that. And they look so nice, so nice and just, okay, they are a bit of a waste but they are like art in your kitchen and they actually make me happy because I like the color pop. So um, just another little tip if you like it. And then, you know, wine and champagne glasses and everything easy to reach, my cooking books. This is a bit of a, I don't know, everything gets a clue. I get given so many chocolates. I don't know about you, but when everyone comes here, they bring me chocolates and sort of, they begin to live here. But um, so this is the kind of cookie drawer. And then, oh, over here, this is my children's favorite cupboard. Their snack drawer. This goes to school. You know, they choose their, their favorite sweets. And they, this is where they come after school and take their snacks, which I try and control a little bit. And that's really about it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the kitchen. <laughs>